So I have a stack of games. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the video. Hey, this is O. Welcome to CeeLo Pixel Gamers. Listen, I appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel, and I hope you really enjoy watching my videos and tuning into the content. Today, I'll be going over the physical games that I have. So, I have a stack of games. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the video, and we'll talk about some things while we go over my PC physical game collection. So, out of my PC collection, these are the games I've played thus far, so I'll be going over these first. First one I want to go over is one that really threw me for a loop and I was surprised that I actually really like this uh, game which is CSI Dark Motives. This is a Ubisoft title and um, this particular one is a three disc set and a lot of PC games back in the day for newer gamers who may not know when you had a, a multi disc collection set you may have seen like PlayStation 1 games come in this orientation um manual here and then you have the other disc in the back um so yeah this particular one and i got one in a pc right now is a three disc set um what i really like about this game is that it really makes you think it's more of a point and click but you get to explore different clues and then you get to talk to different possible suspects in the crime investigation maybe somebody got murdered or uh, overdose or something like that but then you can figure out and put the clues together on who actually did the crime so lots of hours of good fun I finished four cases out of the five and if you look up here and want to see the gameplay of this here are some of my lives here in this playlist right above me and I will be finishing up the last case case five this week up is Quake Arena now I remember this game in particular here Quake Arena um, and one of my, I guess, things I would hate to admit is I'm really not good at first person shooters, although I want to get better at them. Um, this particular one, as you know, you're going to be using your mouse and the keyboard uh, in more of a PC orientation. Um, but me playing Quake, I really enjoyed it, um, especially the custom maps you can do and also um, the computer just obliterates me. So I guess once I learn how to beat the computer um, I'll get better at it but um, graphics look spectacular on a modern PC and um, this was my first Quake game that I've ever played Quake Arena and I'm really enjoying it so as I get better at first person shooters I'll let you know how this game goes so I want to mention I lost the footage for this segment of the video so if you're seeing it if it looks a little different I'm shooting it with my Galaxy phone now I'd also like to talk about my Where's Walder, the Fantastic Journey. Seek and you shall find. Search. show up next and if you don't remember as a kid I guess if you were my age we had these where's Waldo puzzles and you had to find Waldo and really use your eye and investigate to find him there was also an NES version which I'll probably leave a picture somewhere up here which I used to play as a kid but um, the scholastic readers and also the book fairs would have where's Waldo books you can buy so this is where's Waldo I really enjoyed the where's Waldo and trying to find Waldo in the maps and this is where's Waldo another addition to my PC collection I am the wind runner, the spirit god this land I call my own listen for me in the rustling leaves hear me ocean breeze. What does this mean, Hermes? What is happening to her? As her lost spirit, she will wander for eternity. Basically, you're playing in the world of ancient Greece. You're playing as the character Jason. First, different areas of the world. You're going to gain weaponry. You're also going to um, run into different characters. 
and it's really just a great game and likely I'll be keeping this but I might play it through one more time if ever I decide to get rid of it so also any of these games that I list there may be some of them listed below on my Macari page so if you're interested in any of the games just click on the link below but I'm going to try to play through each one of these games and complete them before I make them available so now we went over the games that I've actually played in my collection but I have a huge stack that I've acquired some people give me PC games sometimes I find them for a really great price this one I only spent a dollar on this was going on discount at Walmart and it's still sealed in the plastic this is called Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire Let's go! Hmm? Take him down! This RPG is like one of those classic RPGs you see like X-Men Legend where it has that uh, I think uh, three-quarter or isometric view. Um, right here it says it's uh, THQ Nordic so Obsidian and um, I, I like games like this so I think this will be an interesting game to play um, also it says that it's compatible with PC Mac and Linux and for reasons I'm working on my main uh, powerful PC that I'm working on it does have Linux installed and it. it has Ubuntu Linux installed on it and I have installed Steam on there so there are digital games that I have in my PC collection but that's not for this video um, so, uh, Pillars of Eternity 2, Dead Fire. Now back in the day, I used to love playing the Command & Conquer games, and I think the last Command & Conquer game I played was for the Sega Saturn, but I used to play those on Sega Genesis all the time. This is Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. Repairing. Repairing. Building. Enemy units detected. And it seems like they have a lot of interesting characters in the back. Let me see. Uh, this particular one is by EA Games. And according to this, it um, has 60 minutes of high definition sequences. And you have to run at least Windows XP to play this game. So um, most modern PCs should have the power requirements to play this one. Construction complete. Next one up is Command and Conquer the First Decade. And this one has 12 ways to conquer the world. And this one is jam-packed. As you can see, there's a lot of manuals here and it's very heavy. Um, this one in particular has a two-disc set. But according to this, when I look to the back and I let you see that, it's supposed to have many of the Command and Conquer games. Building. For Mother Russia, attacking. For Hong Kong, examining backgrounds, waiting orders. Moving out, done. You are sure? Secondary and hidden objectives. The green star indicates a primary mission objective. This door requires level one security clearance. I'm ready. They won't catch us. Commit it doesn't get any faster. Get there. So this one right here will have me set for a lot of the Command and Conquer series. And if you don't know what Command and Conquer is, it's more of like a building a city, Sim 2000 kind of simulation. You build a city, you build an army, you build resources, and then you're actually like um, trying to take over different territories. So it's a really fun game. This is Command and Conquer, the Covert Operation here. And like I said, for the games that I um, haven't played yet, I don't know much about them, but I will be playing these and going live with these particular games. So that's Covert Operations. Now, surprisingly enough, like I said, I haven't played a lot of first person games. One of those is, uh, and I don't have the manual for this one, is Battlefield 1942. Medal of Honor and this is basically uh, another EA Games title 
but I'm familiar with it, but I never played that version. Now this one kind of had me tickled a little bit because I don't know if you remember, um, if you're my age, you remember there was an era where the pre-rendered graphics was a huge thing. We're talking about Primal Rage, we're talking about Mortal Kombat, Clay Fighter 64, and then there was a lot of knockoff uh, fighting Mortal Kombat style games. So, and I think this might have been on CDI, I'm not familiar, or might have been on 3 d I'm not familiar. But um, this is the Untouchable. Final round. All right, and as you can see, if I can get it in the camera, it's like a Mortal Kombat style, and it has like those pre-rendered graphics. They got a dude that looks like Blade on here with a black vest and shades, so I think this one would be a pretty fun one to play. So this one is more like your Mortal Kombat style, old school Mortal Kombat style fighting game, so we might can do a little fun review on that and enjoy um, checking that one out. Can't go wrong with Atari so this next one is Atari Vault and ironically I've played a lot of these um, Atari games I own an Atari and I really enjoy Atari now this particular one uh, includes a set of games let's see if we can find out how many games are included with this one so they show six on the back on the vault but this CD claims to have a hundred arcade and Atari 2600 classics so I don't own a hundred Atari games, so it'd be good to see some of the games I haven't played. But most of the ones on here that they show on the cover, I played. So this will be another fun one to review live on the channel. Now, back in the day, I did play The Sims number two. I think it's played Sims one and two. Most people probably did because it was very populated, popular. Um, you know, the simulator games, and then later on we got like you know Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. But we got The Sims 2 here, and I like to see how a lot of these games differ um, from console games. Usually, they might add a little few perks in there or something like that. Okay, now this one is NASCAR Racing 2, which looks like an early PlayStation 1 style racing game. And these particular games are like the racing games that have a 3D perspective but use 2D graphics. So, um, kind of like maybe Road Rash um, would be a great example, but I'll be checking this one out. NHL 96 is definitely one of the ones that I played for a little bit, but this one will be available if you need to add it to your collection. Um, whoop, I almost lost that. Will be available and you know, to add to your collection, and uh, I'll leave this one in the description below this video if you want to pick that one up. Now, this. This is more up my alley right here. I like adventure games, I like sci-fi, and we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now I remember this game being highly popularized and some of the mechanics you can do in this game, but I've never played the PC version and I will be you know excited to look into that and enjoying this game. Once again, just like with your uh, CSI Dark Motors, this one has the multi-disc set and I'll open it up a little bit so you can see that. So this is a Lucas Arts. Love the artwork on the disc there. See if I can get it in closer. Very cool. Let me see if I get in the front. So this might be a four disc set. Let's see. And yes, this is a four disc set and if it did come with a manual, I don't think I have the manual, but there it is. Very nice. 
Okay, the next one up, and I enjoy these games, and a lot of people play these casually, and you can download a lot of these on the Google Play Store and stuff like that. This one is the Classics Hidden Treasure Object Games. You give Mrs. Vane some of the spelling salts I gave you. Oh, Nigel, how could this have happened? Am I going to be a monster forever? I saw a similar case recently. Your friend Henry's wife. And, um, they're very much like point and click and. The mystery game I'm playing now is similar to that, but with a lot more elements on top of it. But I always enjoy games like this, and I actually ended up with two copies of this. Uh, I was able to get this on discount. So if you would like to purchase one, I will leave this one also in the link in the description below. Um, but I'll also be keeping one for myself. Next up, uh, PCs often had a lot of flight simulators, and I have some old school uh, flight sticks. Um, this particular one is called Pixel Classics Presents Flight Gear Professional Simulator. And this this one came with uh, six discs, so there's probably a lot of uh, uh, install in there. So I'll be checking that out, checking out the simulator, see how good it is. Okay, I ended up with another hidden object, but this one is more thin. This amaze took John. I, I seem like a medieval sort of a RPG adventure style. This one is called Amazing Hidden Objects Game, Five Pack Supernatural Stories 3. And this one includes four games in one. So I'll be checking this one out as well. All right, this one is Seven Wonders Trilogy, still sealed, but I'll be breaking the seal on this one. This one is by Atari and um, if you like games like uh, I think uh, Bejeweled or if you like games like Homescapes where they have a little you know you connect the matching jewels and then you get points you would like something like this so I enjoy games like that so I'll be checking this game out as well and last but not least this is more of a simulator but it also has different elements this one's also sealed this is called the Gettysburg Multimedia the Gettysburg Multimedia Battle Simulator. And so you get to relive the Gettysburg address and kind of look through and they have different activities, maps and things you can um, interact to simulate this. So believe it or not, this is uh, for a 386X or higher computer. So it'd be interesting to see the evolution in the graphics. But that is my current physical PC game collection. And if you wanted me to review a PC game, drop, the, drop it in the comment section below. Or if you're getting rid of PC games, hit me up in the comment section below and maybe we could talk about it. But I'll be continuing to build my PC gaming collection. Also, in the next video, we're going to go straight digital. We're not talking about emulation in this case, but we're going to talk about some of the games you can get for Android and also PC digitally. We're going to be checking out Steam and a lot of free games that I play on Steam. Guys, thank you for tuning in on the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Oh,